Hi, I'm Bob Russo with Avid Technology, and today we're going to talk about some of the new features in Media Composer 5. The first thing we'll talk about is our new QuickTime AMA support. On my desktop here, I have some, some QuickTime files from a D7, a Canon D7 camera, as well as some ProRes 422HQ QuickTime files. And here's a folder of ProRes QuickTime files. I'm going to shift select all the files, click open, and instantly the files are linked to and ready to use. There's no rewrap or transcode. I'm playing the files directly from my internal hard drive here. And you say, see, you can take a look, and they play down perfectly inside of my Avid, inside of my Media Composer. For the Canon D7 file, link to AMA files, go to my desktop, and there's my card. I'll navigate through. QuickTime Movies, shift select them, click open. And they're available instantly. And you can see they're H.264, ProRes 422. No rewrap, no transcode, immediately available to work with. You're drunk. Another new feature in the AMA is native red support. So to use that, I'll go to File, link to AMA volume in this case. Go to my desktop, here's a red folder from a red ca camera, and they're available instantly. And I track all of the metadata that the camera records is all tracked as a heading as a bin heading. I also have the ability to set source settings and load the custom metadata that the camera operator shot added during the shoot and apply a specific look to the, to the files, to the video inside of Media Composer. We have new timeline uh, enhancements. So we've added a new feature called the Smart Tool. This is very much like the Smart Tool that's available inside of Pro Tools. And if I work on it, if I go to my timeline here, you can see that if I'm at the top of the clip, I have, I'm in overwrite. I can actually drag and drop and move the clip straight away. Same thing if I'm, I'm on sort of the bottom of the clip, I have insert and I can drag and it'll actually reshuffle the clips around. The trim works the same way. If I'm up on the top, I have trim, I'm trimming left, right? And from the bottom, I'm doing a splice in trim, insert trim. So trim at trim, dual roll of trim, I can trim very quickly, get into the timeline and manipulate the clip. And what's nice is that I'm, I'm instantly in these modes. Uh, we have a link to feature, so I'm linking to the, to the audio, whatever audio is attached to that clip, I link to all that audio and I can move it around. Another new feature is called, is the real-time audio suite plugins. So if I take a look at this clip and example, and if I play it down, I can come here over to this part of the, right here, and I have an insert and I, have, I can insert five audio suite, real-time audio suite plugins. So I can use anything that's installed in my computer. In this case, I'll pick a compressor limiter and I can play it back. And it'll, it'll play back in real-time audio suite plugins. started pounding on the doors and then I think he As a compressor started. limiter. And you just left it. We have, we now have RGB, color space support, so we can now work in uncompressed 10-bit 444 color space inside of Media Composer. The last thing we'll talk about is actually stereo audio tracks. If you take a look at my, my timeline right here, I now have the ability to actually add stereo audio tracks. So I go clip, new stereo, audio track. So it keeps you a stereo track keeps your audio in sync, you no longer have to use two audio tracks for a stereo audio. And that's some of the new features in Media Composer 5. Thanks so much.